In the course, you mentioned that chemotherapy doesn't work well for slow growing tumors, but that it might work good for fast growing tumors. So how does one determine the growth of their tumor? I've always wondered for myself how I'm supposed to calculate the doubling time because it seemed to take about two years for me. Yes. So, you know, these are, that's a complicated question, but it's an important question. Important thing to keep in mind is that, you know, I've spoken to so many hundreds of, chemo of um, oncologists over the years, and when they hear my message and they, they learn it, they are, they reveal the fact of how, how frustrated they are in their careers, that the chemotherapy might cost, you know, 50 to a hundred thousand dollars and extend a person's lifespan you know, with a slow growing cancer, three to six months, you know, very, for all the, it's very, the, the power is very limited what they can do with slow growing cancers because slow growing cancers don't unravel their DNA wide enough to be damaged by chemo. And it doesn't kill all the cell. It doesn't kill all the cells. Um, with a fast growing, more aggressive cancer, that's more likely to kill you. Then the cancer cells replicating more rapidly, exposing its DNA wider and is more susceptible to chemo. So the more dangerous the cancer is, and the more rapidly it's advancing, the more appropriate chemotherapy would be. That's why a premenopausal, aggressive estrogen negative breast cancer, which could kill a person relatively, you know, in six to 12 months, then chemotherapy is indicated and going to be more effective. But a slow growing estrogen positive garden variety breast cancer, that's gonna take five or 10 years to kill a person, you're not going to see a major lifespan enhancement by taking chemotherapy, even if it's given. And because there's a large percentage of overdiagnosis and misdiagnosis from mammograms, so people who are diagnosed with cancer who never have cancer, they're receiving chemo that can now hurt them and cause other cancers to develop from the chemo. And overall, the effect, they're weakened by the chemo because what I'm saying right now is I generally do not recommend chemotherapy for the most common types of breast cancers because they're growing too, and the most common types of prostate cancer, because they don't give you a good bang for the buck. Quality of life goes down and potential for increased lifespan is so minimal. And nutrition is so much more powerful. So what I'm also saying here that when you're comparing chemotherapy to, to precision nutrition in a slow growing cancer, it's, no, it's a no brainer. You, ha you have such much power with regard for nutritional intervention and virtually almost no positive, where the effect of the chemo was relatively worthless for common cancers. There was a recent study came out like last month on prostate cancer showing when men get diagnosed with and treated for prostate cancer, overall, their quality, if they combine their quality of life and their longevity scores and puts it together and, and go over the, the actual benefits, they find that most people consider the benefit to be negative of having prostate cancer diagnosed and treated. The overall effect on their life is negative, not positive. Mm. How do you feel about immunotherapy? Well, um, immunotherapy, you know, it depends on what that means, but certain types of therapy can make the, make the chemotherapy more effective, can weaken the cells so the chemotherapy can become more effective. So it depends. I still think that um, most of the alternative therapies are relatively ineffective compared to nutritional excellence and precision nutrition. So, and so going to these alternative cancer centers and getting red light therapy, ozone intravenously, or, um, or heat treatment or, in, or potentiated insulin treatments, whatever, it, the, all these alternative methods are relatively ineffective compared to just straight doing the great diet with the right supplements is long-term and with the right, you know, combination of, um, we're using also anti-cancer herbal products too, you know, that we're adding is more effective than these um, alternative therapies that people use like, um, you know, sound therapy and light therapies and what do they do? Ultrasound guided phototherapy. They, you know, there's all types of things that they're doing. Um, but in any case, um, I'm saying nutrition is more effective.